Hello, dear friend. Long time no see. How you been? I um, just wanted to quickly finish up with this short little essay booklet, I guess you could call it. Um, he never ended up finishing the book, and um, he died before he could finish it, the, called God and the State. So it ends up really being just a, like a partially finished essay, and it was published uh, posthumously. After he passed away, they published it, right? And it kind of fizzles out near the end anyway, so we're not missing much. He it vilifies uh, eight, uh, Christianity, and um, he sneers at what he calls these inspired idealists, he describes them. I'm just going to give you a quote that he gives and, uh, from page 64 here. He says, the, ideal the idealistic abstraction God, he calls it an idealistic abstraction God, is a corrosive poison, he says, which destroys and decomposes life, falsifies and kills it. This is his legacy that he, that he left, that he, he allowed himself to speak these evil words against God. And um, he says, the faith, he goes on a little later, he says, the faith is the same, the end but little different, and the result is that of faith is slavery. See, he has no concept that the, the, of, the, of the scripture, the truth will set us free. The truth that God loves us can set us free from our tendency towards guilt and shame. He, he has no understanding. He never, never came into any hope of having any truth in his life. And instead, he became a slave to his own ignorance. He was a slave to the uh, principles of cold science that were prevalent at the time and how Darwin just went rampant at the time and everybody had to bow down to Darwin. And he was a slave to random chance. And he was a slave to his own um, appetites and darkened mind. You can tell by the look of his of his visage there. Um, so yeah, it just, it goes into, you know, a, a, a vilification of anything to do with God. And it um, dismisses Christianity. He says the gospels were contradictory without ever quoting anything from the gospels. He had no concept of the gospels. Um, and um, to finish off, I'm just going to share with you a little Thing that jumped out at me from John today I was reading um, he, uh, from John 5 right the son can do nothing of himself but what he sees the father doing whatsoever he does these the son also does in like manner for the father loves the son and shows him all things that himself does the greater works than these will he show him that you may marvel for as the father raised the dead and gives them life, even so the Son also gives life to whom he will. For neither does the Father judge any man, but he has given all judgment unto the Son, that all may honor the Son. This is from John chapter 5. He that honors not the Son, honors not the Father that sent him. See, this guy, Mike, uh, Mikhail Bakunin, had no idea of the words of Jesus, he, he just said, all the gospels conflict with one another, so they don't make any sense to me. And we would expect, with four different first-hand accounts, you would expect, with four separate people giving their own version of events at different times, you would have slight discrepancies between the stories. But overall, these the same message comes through, that here was... Jesus, the Christ, who came and explained what God was like to us by his words, by his deeds. You know, by, he said, even if you just believe the miracles themselves, the miracles that he did. And this guy, of course, Bakunin dismisses the miracles as, as fanciful, he says, right? And uh, he, Jesus continues here in John 5. He that hears my word and believes him that sent me has eternal life. And doesn't come into judgment, but has passed out of death into life. What an amazing promise that Christ left for us, right? He said, truly I say to you, the hour comes and now is when the dead 
will hear the voice of the Son of God. He said it now is because he, he raised the guy from the dead, right? Remember? And they that hear shall live. For as the Father has life in himself, even so he gave to the Son also to have life in himself. And he gave him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Marvel, don't marvel at this, for the hour comes in which all that are in the tombs shall hear his voice and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, they that have done evil unto the resurrection of judgment. I can do of myself do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is righteous, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. It is another that bears witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. And he goes on to talk about John the Baptist, and so on and so forth. So yeah, John 5 is an amazing uh, piece of instruction to us when Jesus is telling us about his relationship to the Father and the uh, resurrection of the dead and eternal life. Right? He, he that hears my word and believes him that sent me has eternal life and doesn't come into judgment but is passed out of death into life. What an amazing statement. So we don't have to worry about a judgment when we leave this world, right? We don't have to worry about that because we put our hope and our trust in Christ, the Savior of the world, you know? John 3, he didn't send the Savior into the world to judge the world, but that the world through him might be saved, right? So uh, uh, this guy, Mikhail Bukhanin, he exempted himself from that. He, he didn't want to participate in that. All he wanted to do was... was promote rebellion against any t form of authority whatsoever rebellion against the state rebellion against authority and especially rebellion against god and that's really unfortunate because um i would not want to be in his shoes right now i don't know what his state is i don't know what this the state of his soul is but i don't want to take his place for the legacy that he left uh, words like this are very harsh words against God and against Jesus the Christ. So that's it for that. There's nothing else of any value. It's mostly ad hominem argument attacks against, you know, believers and um, just a very angry man that spoke loftily because he had intellectual training. That's, that's, that's about it. Right, And he used his intellectual training to denigrate any person of faith or any reference to, to the faithful, for that matter. So, I have no interest in, in that. That goes into the, 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 the circular file, I guess you could say. So, that's it for today. God bless you. Thank you for watching. And um, it's great to see you again. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're happy. I hope you're able to spend time with people you love. Enjoy the wonderful summer weather that's going on right now. Today is, what is today? July the 5th? July the 6th, I should say, of 2023, I think. And it's a beautiful weather up. So, hope you get some fresh air. And I love you very much. You have yourself a great day, okay? Take care. Bye-bye now.